Okay, Pilot Ann, here I am. I'm going to take you on a test flight of the new and improved Observer app in the Android system, which has all our new features. So as you can see, I've gotten on my homepage, my Observer app, and I click that. Oops, where did it go? And there we are. So the first thing you notice is we have this scrolling bar which has uh, different types of activities. So I'm gonna go into it and I'm gonna go activity types and I'm going to um, get rid of um, the journal. And I'm gonna add a new activity type called um, carbon. credits and I'm going to save that and now you can see that it's there so now when I go and create assets in this observer activity it will be in the file structure under carbon credits so the first thing I do is I go back to my home page and you can see carbon credits is there I hit the green button and it immediately gives me a GPS uh, coordinates as well as a Google Earth map. And you can see the activity top here on the top is carbon credits. And then now we can add voice, speech to text, uh, pictures, and video. Now it's worth noting that speech to text is a really cool feature because if you click on this microphone, it will actually do speech to text in real time and I've found out that not only will it do this with English, but it will also do it in Swahili for your Tanzanian environment. So this makes the cl collection of data uh, very useful. Now we'll just save that. And you can see that the text is there. Um, I can take a picture. And um, unfortunately, it's going to be a picture of me looking down on this, but that's okay. And it'll say, do you want to use that? And I'll say, yes. And I can also shoot a video. And again, this allows you to do a video of your cooking and prove that you're actually using a model or a stove or whatever. And I can use that. So all in all now, I've got a picture, a video, some voice to text. I can, I can record just straight voice as well. All of those are possible, and, and when I'm done, I just hit the red button, and it says, do you want to complete the activity? I say yes, and there it goes. Now, we're going to be upgrading this interface, but right now it says past activities on this device, and you can see that one. It's got our date time stamp, and I can click, and it says upload to Google Drive, and I go upload. Now, this is a very interesting feature because it will use that data structure. It will put it under carbon credits in the observer directory on the Google Drive. Uh, and more importantly, this is being done on an Android phone that costs less than $200, and it really doesn't even require cellular access. As long as it has Wi-Fi access, it can upload and do all of these features that you're seeing. So there's no need to have an expensive phone, and there's no need to have um, cellular activity uh, where you have your um, fire implements in schools or whatever the environment is. Now, it is updating the images and the videos and everything else, so it will take a little bit of time to do that, but it will ultimately end up in my Google Drive, and, and that's pretty cool. But what I really want to show you is the second feature that we've added here, which is extremely, extremely, extremely important, uh, particularly for recording your carbon credits, because it will allow you to take all of these assets from this activity and put them retrospectively into a calendar and hotlink them so that that calendar can be shared and you can show all the time in which um, you're, um, you're making yourself credible for the carbon credits that you can prove compliance because it records the date and the time and the location and everything else, and it's very, very powerful. 
So as you can see, it, it sometimes can take a while to upload the first activities into the Google Drive, particularly when we're creating a new Google uh, Drive structure with carbon credits as our, as our um, um, directory structure rather than some of the uh, prior ones. So now when I'm done, I can still go back to this Google Drive and you'll see that it has a thing here called calendar load. So I can load that into a calendar. It uses the same Google Calendar um, that I used for my um, storing of my assets on my Google Drive. So that's just by default and up it goes. And now you'll see that it's got a, a, a observe carbon credits all day. Here it was from the 7am uh, 7, uh, 7 to 9am, Australian do not repeat. And here are all the things and I can save this and it actually puts it into my calendar. And this is very, very powerful and very important because you can see here, if I can get to it, here it is. This is my observer credits. Uh, here's my speech to text. Here's my link through to um, uh, my GPS data. And I can also go in here to my video. And there it is. And all those assets are arranged. You to do a video of your cooking and prove that you are actually. So my, my point is this now puts it into a calendar. And as you do different activities over the weeks and the months, it'll be in there and it'll all be structured. So it's for easy access. You don't actually eat, even have to go into the data structure, although it is in the Google Drive as well. And that those assets can be shared. But the calendar makes it easy to see it all in one place. I hope you can see that this adds a lot of value. It allows you to document the uh, carbon credit activities that you're in, place, time, who, what, where, when, and why, and um, yeah, and uh, on Wi-Fi and inexpensive device. Hope this helps on.